Okay, so here I am uh, in Dryden, and I went through a horrible weekend. Uh, the uh, pneumonia acted up again, and uh, I had to go to the hospital. And uh, I'm full of uh, antibiotics right now as I'm filming this. And uh, I was even too sick to. Uh, uh, film myself during that I was sicker than I am right now uh, but anyways we're here in Dryden and the uh, show's got to continue and uh, Jay Tremonte is the uh, torch champion student torch champion from Dryden High School so his teacher Kathy McConaughey is coming and um, we got a police escort and some media will be here so I gotta try and get through the day. I got a bus at 5.55 leaving from Dryden uh, to Knorr to catch tonight. So I gotta kill five more hours while I'm out here. So anyways, here's where we are, Dryden, Ontario. By the way, that's the new wick that we finally found. This thing should last for three years. Can't wait to use it. George, can you just tell me how to spell your first and last name? Oh, yeah. George, G-E-O-R-G-E, -E, Marcello, M-A-R-C-E-L-L-O. Okay, um, so first, talk about why you're here and what the cause for the torch is. Well, SOS 4000 uh, is a nation, national campaign. Um, in this campaign, we're trying to uh, address Canada's uh, critical shortage of organ and tissue donations. Uh, Canadians don't know this, but Canada has one of the lowest rates of organ donations in the entire world. And sadly, every day, somebody on that waiting list is passing away 
and there's so many organs that are going to waste and, and these people could be saved. So what we did was we organized uh, a, a national torch relay across the country uh, to be carried only by students. Um, we organized hundreds of students from St. John's, Newfoundland, all the way across to Victoria, BC. And each student is selected to represent their respective uh, community. And in that community, the student plays various roles. One of them is carrying the torch and uh, becoming an ambassador for that community. And we're finding out, since we started on October the 1st, uh, in St. John's uh, 2007, that these students are having a very positive uh, effect in the community, and they're actually inspiring people in the community to become organ donors. So if we can do that in every community right across the country, we can really address this uh, issue. There's over 4,000 Canadians waiting. That's why we called it SOS 4000. And, you know, one day we can save them all. And what's the importance of having a student do it rather than somebody else? I think a student has a, a, a better ability to uh, inspire the community. I think once they hear that, you know, students champion something and, and then they show their passion and their enthusiasm, uh, it has a far more positive effect on uh, the community than, than somebody else would. So we've been finding that out as we've been going from community to community. And what's your involvement with that? Well, my personal involvement is uh, over 12 years ago, I received a liver transplant. I had two days left to live. And basically, I was like in a hospital where most people would be while waiting for an organ transplant. And during my time there, there was two hallways, one that led to the morgue and one that led to the operating room. And the one leading to the morgue seemed way more action than the one in the hallway. And I just seen too many people die. And I, thought, and I said to myself, if I was fortunate enough to receive a liver, uh, I'd make it my mission to try and change, change this uh, situation. And I, w I was lucky that I did. And since then, I uh, created a charity called Step by Step. And this is actually our sixth campaign going across Canada. Uh, and our theme this time is with students. And, uh, you know, our goal is to make sure that nobody on that waiting list has to die. We feel that there's enough organs to go around for everyone. All we have to do is bring this message to the uh, public. And how does somebody become an organ donor? Well, you can uh, sign your health card uh, or your uh, driver's license. Uh, but the most important thing is, is that you, you need to share that wish with your family one day because uh, they're going to make the final decision and if they don't know your wishes, they, they won't be able to do that. Uh, so that's the most important step. And here in Dryden, uh, that's what we're going to keep encouraging and hopefully people will do that. And uh, websites and other things, <coughs> contacts, how can people... Yep, uh, we're urging people to visit our website. It's www.sos4000.com. And uh, we're traveling on a dismal budget. If, if you can make a donation to help us, we're still, we still got another five months of uh, campaign to go. And, you know, we're, we're making a difference. The students are making a difference. And, and you can help. Uh, you know, one, one person can save up to eight people's lives. Uh, basically. So, you know, if we could reach everybody, uh, we could really make a big difference. We could really change this. Nobody has to die waiting for an organ. And where did you start and where are you planning to end up? We started in St. John's, uh, Newfoundland on uh, October the 1st, 2007. And we're traveling west and uh, we're going to reach Victoria on June uh, 15th. And then we're going up north to Whitehorse and traveling uh, along to Yellowknife. And we're finishing in Igaloot, none of it, on June 20th. And uh, that'll be our, our first year of uh, relaying the torch. We're going to do this on a yearly basis. So, yeah, his name is uh, Jay Tremonte. Yeah, I know. And sometimes they don't have a direct connection. Uh, you know, sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't. But the idea is you plant the seed, and you know, with somebody that doesn't have, a, because it, basically you, you can't just get anybody involved that has a connection. You have to get people outside the box, you know. And 